So in order to achieve that, the first thing that you have to do as a boat owner is respect depth of discharge. And what that means is that you simply cannot bring down your batteries to, the, to a point where the lights get dim or your inverter starts beeping. That's way too much. That's like running two marathons, three marathons, because you can. It's not because you can that you won't suffer the consequences. And so it's really essential with batteries to appreciate that the depth of discharge should not go below, especially with flooded, around 50%, or AGM, maybe depending on the types of AGM, 30%. And so once you go below that, it's, it's really an exponential relationship between depth of discharge and life cycle. So respecting the depth of discharge is essential for your batteries to last longer. And so that's the number one thing, and that comes with having a battery monitor. And that's why we always recommend battery monitors to anybody who actually uses their boat away from the dock. If you're out at anchor and you're using your batteries in a deep cycle application, a battery monitor is essential to know the depth of the discharge. So that's the first thing. Second thing is also appreciating, especially with flooded batteries, is that when you're using and you're cycling your batteries from you know 80 to 50% on and off, your batteries are gonna go through bulk charging. When you're bulk charging, your batteries are gonna, as the current goes through this battery, the batteries are gonna heat up. As they heat up, they're gonna boil. And that's normal and that's part of the process. The batteries can never have the plates exposed. There, that's, a, that's a kind of an end game type of event. Those batteries, if the plates are exposed, are gonna sulfate and that, whatever proportion of the batteries of the plates were exposed, are gonna give you a lot of grief later on because the batteries are gonna heat up prematurely as you're recharging them. So it's essential as a boat owner to figure out what is the regular maintenance cycle in terms of topping off the fluids on a flooded lead acid battery. And that is not something, you can never argue that you did it well for 10 times and the 11th time is forgiven. It's every single time must be done well and there is no understanding or apologies or excuses that you can make to make up for not doing it.